I think it was like the anniversary of uh, my brother Michael passing a couple days ago on the 24th. Um, you know, there, there was nothing else for Michael to really, really do. Um, and he'd done so much, you know, and I think yesterday was the anniversary, yeah, the 25th. Wow. Oh. And he's been dead 13 years, kind of hard to believe. But y'all know, remember when uh, LaToya uh, uh, had her little reality show and the little guy that was on there, I thought he was a Jackson, actually. Uh, he's her so-called fiancé. You know, and... Uh, no. He go another one of those stories that you can, um, you know, count up to um, madness. Just plain and simple. So I'm gonna do this, and and uh, his Michael Jackson's estate claimed that man that the man that was engaged to Latoya, he used the chaos of the singer's death to steal Michael's pajamas that he was wearing before he died, as well as his cell phone, pills, and clothes. Oh Lord. His name is Jeffrey Phillips. The former fiancé of Latoya Jackson was accused of stealing personal items from Michael Jackson's home just days after the pop star's death. The state claimed that Phillips made off with the pop star's iPhone, pills, clothes, home videos, and even his deathbed pajamas. The lawyer said that he received a tip in December from an auctioneer claiming Phyllis was trying to sell the clothes that he said belonged to the singer. It's Hollywood for you. Although the lawyers said they've been able to retrieve some of the items, they believe Phillips has more, including music written and recorded by Jackson. Um, you know, just that dude, you know, who got dead eyes. And it's, it's amazing that you can see it now. I see it so clearly. These these uh, demonic energies. You know, they, they, they have no soul. They empty. You look at their eye, lights on, nobody home. Michael Jackson's estate was claimed the ex-fiance, one of his sisters, used chaos surrounding the pop star's um, death to rob him of his deathbed pajamas and other values from his $25 million mansion. What type of madness? What type of sick... Anyway, Friday's legal filing from uh, the Jackson Estate claimed film producer Jeffrey Phillips, who was once engaged to Latoya, was trying to sell off these items that he allegedly stole after staying in the in Michael's Los Angeles mansions for nine days after he died. While at the Carol Wood house, Jackson's lawyer claimed that Phillips stole the singer's and his children's iPhone, his driver's license, his prescription pills, clothes, handwritten notes, and a briefcase out there with his personal business letter. So you out there, you out there wilding out and selling the man's pills. Selling the man's damn pills. Yeah, you, it's a low-down piece of shit. It rhymes with it. An extremely appalling and an inhumane act, Phillips even stole the pajamas Michael Jackson was wearing in the final hours of his life, the lawyer claimed. As Phillips stole a resuscitator tube that seemed to have been used on Jackson by those who were trying to save the man's life and frantic period just before his passing. He stole that damn thing too. The accusations filed against Phillips came a day before the 13th anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, who passed away in 2009. This dude. Uh, really, dude? Really? 
The state claims they received a tip back in 2021 that Phillips was attempting to auction off items belonging to the late singer. In an attempt to vouch for the item's authenticity, Phillips allegedly admitted to the auctioneer that items were taken in the days following Jackson's death while he was at the mansion. So he didn't told on himself, too. To verify the items, the auctioneer reached out to the state, letting them know that he had a pair of sunglasses allegedly to Jackson that Phillips allegedly claimed he still had makeup on it from his face. Jackson's lawyer said they have been able to retrieve some of the items that the dude took, but believe that the man is still in possession of, of, of home videos and music the singer had written and recorded before his death. The state ultimately asked the court to order Phillips to return any and all property that he allegedly took from Jackson's home. Wow. Wow. Vultures. Just vultures. News of the relation of Phillips' relationship with Latoya broke out in the fall of 2009, months after Jackson died. Phillips had proposed to Latoya in 2013 with many outlets speculating that the two had actually gotten married in December of that year. But those rumors were squashed by LaToya herself. The two remained engaged until suddenly breaking things off in 2015, TMZ reported. They remained close friends, but their current relationship is unknown. And she got a bad picker too, huh? Don't feel bad. This dude then stole. Uh, we all, what y'all think about this man? I don't even have no words to describe this piece of crap. Let me know what your comments below. What y'all think about this? Look, disgusting.